Hola, it's your girl Hazely, and we're back here with the hot sheet. I told you guys I was getting a makeover, but let's get into it. It's been so much to happen this season on Marriage Boot Camp. I mean, from Willie and Davon's fight to, you know, my unfortunate miscarriage. I mean, this season has been, I don't even think spicy is the word. It's literally hot and on fire. So let's run down this week's hot sheet. Okay, so I'm still having some abnormal bleeding happening and it doesn't turn out very good for Davon and I. Unfortunately, um, we had a miscarriage. Our first go around with a positive pregnancy test, we get a miscarriage in the same damn time. It's not what, we thought, what yeah, we're, no. we're trying to do here. We were actually pregnant with twins, but you know, God never fails and he blessed me with baby Ava. She's two months old today, you guys. I couldn't ask for a, a better, beautiful, just blessed baby. So Bado and Tahiri are working to progress past the incident that happened. Hopefully they're finally getting some clarity with the guidance of Judge Toller and Dr. Ish. Tell me what's hurting you. <laughs> that, I, that I've been able to forgive everybody that's hurt me in my life, except that I think I just haven't been able to forgive myself for putting myself in these kind of situations. Dr. Ish made me realize something about expectations. I think that I'm looking forward to too much because I've seen this woman treat her man like a king, and I'm looking for all of that, and I didn't get none of it. So your girl Tony finally decides to confront Uncle Corrupt about what she found in his phone last night. I'm um, all of these negative things, and and I'm not going to be with somebody. Right, who good. Like You're that. just liars. What you all are. Right, I'm you are. You are. So it's all been a lie from the very so beginning. Been, so you're so right. Why, it is a wrap. Obviously, Davon and I weren't able to participate in today's challenge, but. From what I heard, it got a little hot and heavy, okay? Have you ever had a threesome? Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Most times you've had sex in one day. Probably four. What? what? Seriously. Oh boy. Okay, that may have been a little embarrassing, but not as embarrassing as having to reenact your sex life as a puppet. At the park, oh yeah. We were very, very young. Okay. Be careful, it's people watching. <laughs> not as people watching. Oh my God, why is Medina naked? It's showing you now, it's showing you now. It's showing you what it look like. Get away from me with that. <laughs> Welcome to my world. Was Medina finally about to get him some? and it went down between Corrupt and um, Tony. She went off on the OG. Corrupt, can you see how alone this she is over here in the corner of this bed? He don't care. Right, because she's the only one complaining about it. Laugh all you want. When Corrupt laughs, that enrages me. You so tough, right? You get the high, right? Come over we here, gonna Tony. We gonna see. Things took a turn. Whoop, like whoop. Just because she's a girl don't mean she ain't dangerous. It's unsafe. He is screaming to the top of his lung, F you, F this, don't let her kill me, because he wants a brown look. Now let's take a look at what you can expect on next week's episode of Marriage Boot Camp, The Hip Hop Edition. All of the boot campers relive some past traumatic experiences and it really sparked some raw emotions. Tony has had it with Crook and she wants out of boot camp. And guess what? Somebody might be leaving boot camp as a single Pringle. Tune in to Marriage Boot Camp, The Hip Hop Editions on Thursdays at 9, 8 central. And after the episode, come back here to YouTube with me to get the tea for the hot sheet. I'll see you guys next week.